these together prisms and cylinders because they're very similar. It's like a prism is basically you have two parallel and congruent faces like this and they're separated by the height. Okay, so for a cylinder, the cylinder basically has two circles that are parallel and congruent. They're the same size and shape, separated by the height. And you can see here is a square prism. You have two squares that are separated by the height and they're the same size and shape. Okay, so to find the surface area of a prism, you take two times the area of the base, that's what the capital B represents, plus the perimeter of the base, that's what the P represents, times the height. So the way this works is, if you cut this and you unfold it, okay, you're gonna end up with a big rectangle like so, and you're gonna have a top and a bottom. So two squares, I folded those like that. So if you were to fold it back up, you fold these, and these would wrap around and that would form the the sides are what they call the lateral area. But what we can do is we can find the area of this base, okay, these two bases, and you can see it's a square. It's over here, this is four by four, so that's gonna be 16, okay, for the area of the base, times two, because we have two of them, so that's two times 16, plus, now that what's the formula for the area of a rectangle? Well, it's a length times width, or base times height, right? But you can see here, the height is eight, this base is actually the perimeter, okay, the perimeter of the base. So this is actually four, 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 and four. That gives you 16 times the height times eight. So that's gonna give you eight times 16. Okay, so if you simplify that uh, all out, what do we get? Looks like we get uh, 32 plus 128, which is 160 units squared. Okay, so for area, it's a square units because you're covering this with like little one by one by one squares, like you're wrapping a present with little little squares, right? Okay, now this one with the cylinder, imagine if we cut this open, okay, it's like a roll, and you unroll it, flip the top up, flip the top down, or the, the base here down, so you're gonna get two circles and a rectangle. So that's easy enough. You find the area of the circle, pi r squared. So in this case, it's gonna be pi times five squared times two because you have a top and a bottom, okay? Now this part here can be a little bit challenging, okay? This is a rectangle, right? But where does this dimension here come from? It comes from the circumference of the circle, the circumference of the base. So when you cut this and you unroll it, this length is actually the circumference two pi r, okay? So what we're taking is we're taking the this length two pi r times the height to give us the area of the rectangle. So length times width or base times height, but this represents the circumference of the circle. Okay, so that's two times pi times the radius is five times the height, which is 10. And if we simplify this, we get 25 times two, which is 50 pi, plus 50 times two is 100 pi. So we're looking at 150 pi units squared. Again, square units because this is just area. Area is a two-dimensional. You're covering this with little uh, squares. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope this made uh, finding surface area of prisms and cylinders a little bit easier. Subscribe to the channel, check out some of my past videos, and stay tuned for some future videos. I'll see you in the next video.